Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. As you just saw, we've got a brand new dog coming to the game and it is going to be a retriever, which is really big news. A lot of you have been wanting a retriever, I've been wanting one as well, so it's nice to see that they're finally coming to the game. And uh, they released a little bit of info with this uh, little release as well, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of that real quickly as we miss a couple shots on these GoldenEye and manage to take one of them down. So as we wait for some more uh, golden eyes to come in, I think it's about time we go over all of the different information that they have released alongside of this trailer, because there's a lot more to it than just a trailer. They released the entire Steam page, which means we have access to all the information about it, and this is what it says here on the Steam page. Your canine friend can fetch any rabbit, hare, waterfowl, or upland bird on land or in water, allowing you to continue hunting without interruption. When you command your companion to retrieve, it will diligently pick up harvest around you in order of priority, starting with the one that you're aiming at. Discover the wilderness together and share the joy of hunting. The next segment of the Steam page says build a lasting bond, strengthen the connection to your dog by petting it, giving it treats, or playing with it, and grow its efficiency by hunting together. When it's time to head back to the lodge after a good day's hunt, you can count on your faithful companion to be there wagging its tail. Let's go ahead and grab this little duck right here and then read off the last uh, segment of this. It says, your unique companion, give your dog a name, choose its fur coat variation, and assign its traits to match your hunting style. You can even add multiple dogs to your roster, making it easy to pick which one to hunt with you. Labrador Retriever is available in both male and female in seven unique fur coat variations. Seven is kind of crazy. So the variations are black, yellow, chocolate, silver, charcoal, Fox Red, and Champagne. That is a lot of variation in different fur coats. So you're definitely going to have a lot of options to choose from, which is really, really nice to see. A lot more than what the Bloodhound had, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, but I think the Bloodhound had four or five. This one has seven. And if that's the case, that is a pretty substantial upgrade in terms of the variation. This DLC will be releasing in just two weeks on November 28th. And it will be coming out on all platforms at the same time, which is amazing. You'll love to see it. A simultaneous launch. There we go. We got two of them down. Anything else we can get? I think we could try this one, but very unlikely that we'll hit it. And yeah, we didn't get a couple pop shots out there. And yeah, did not get the shot on that. But it's going to be so nice to have a retriever for any time that you're waterfowl hunting. Because currently, it's just, it's kind of rough having to get out. And pick them up and then you end up spooking off any more that are coming in just like these ones right here that we're likely gonna spook off because we just had to get out and grab those so it is gonna be really nice to have something to retrieve them for us now for the rest of this video I think we're just gonna have a little bit of a waterfowl hunt here on Rev on Tule coast and see if we can manage to bag any good golden eye we do have the electronic collar out which honestly is really really good for waterfowl I think that might be the best use for it yet I'm really liking it for the waterfowl. It saves a lot of time like switching between collars and your gun and it honestly makes it so you miss less uh, birds because of having to switch between the collar and the uh, gun like you would if you're not using this electronic collar. It's pretty nice honestly, I'm really liking it. And there they go, they're landing now. Let's see if we can get a shot into this guy. And just like that, we got him down. Any others? We can maybe get that one. And we did clip it. We clipped it twice, and is he going down? Yeah, he'll die. He definitely will die, just uh, very, very slowly. Now, let's hope that we don't spook anything off as we're going over here to grab these guys. Uh, this was the one that we killed first. A level 1 female, 75909. And now we got to wait for that other one to float in. But, you know, once we have that dog... We'll no longer have to wait as far as we can tell from the description they gave it seems like it can go into the water and uh, swim out to get your birds for you so that's gonna be really really nice I think it's gonna be much more of a time saver than I originally was thinking that it would be because I remember in the hunter classic a lot of the times it didn't really feel that much faster to use the retriever in many cases it took just as long as if I walked over there and grabbed it myself so I wasn't super, super excited about the possibility of a retriever, but after hearing that it can get them while they're in the water, that is honestly going to be huge. I think that's going to be a game changer. Now, now it's all going to depend on whether or not 
the dog moves quickly while getting your birds. If the dog moves quickly, then it'll definitely be a faster way combined with the ability for it to go into water and on land. I do think it's going to be good if they can manage to make it so the dog moves pretty quickly while retrieving your birds. However, if it's slow, it might be just as fast to, to get them yourself. So we'll see. We will see how things go. I'm very, very curious to see uh, how this DLC ends up being. But here is one of our ducks right here. I think this is the one that we shot from far away. Maybe not because we only got this one once. I wonder if that one will ever float in. It seems like we shot it like forever ago. There is another one right there. That is a little male 909.04. Nothing too crazy, but it is a male, which we haven't got a lot of today. Oh my gosh, we've got one right here. What? How did he survive that? <laughs> I I guess that shot missed. That was kind of crazy that he managed to get away from that. And almost got away for good because we missed the second shot as well. Okay, they are not going to land because they are alarmed. So we're going to attempt to get a 22 shot into him. It is virtually impossible to nowadays though. So, yeah, that, that wasn't going to happen. But at least we have this guy right here. It was a male. So, let's see if it ends up being a good one. And here we go. There is the little guy right there. That is a 1,067 gold level 2. Love to see it. Our best one of the day by far. And here we go running into the same issue as before. We're not able to get into our blind fast enough before they start coming in again. And, uh, you know, that's a problem. And that is something that the retrievers are going to make uh, not happen anymore, which is going to be nice. It's definitely going to be nice to not spook stuff off just because you went to claim your birds. All right, so I switched it over to the Canada goose collar because there was a lot of Canadian geese around here. So hopefully we can get a few of these down. Is, is that all females? Are they all females? No, there's a couple males here. There's a couple of them, just not a lot. And we still got a few golden eyes coming down to the decoys. Which is definitely nice. That's a good level 2 there. We got a few of them. Yeah, we got a few of them coming in. Actually, a lot of them coming in. Holy crap. I am completely surrounded by all of them. The second I go to a goose call, that's when the golden eyes show up, of course. Because why not? Well, we got two of them. Not a goose, but we got some golden eyes. And we actually got a third golden eye as well. Can we get any of the geese? No, we're not going to be able to get the geese, it doesn't look like. Maybe if we're lucky here. Yeah, no geese for, uh, for us right now. Just a lot of golden eyes. There we go. We got a uh, Canada goose there. They were already alerted, so I had to start shooting at them with the 22 or else I wasn't going to get a chance to even get one. Um, I'm wondering if right here I need to lead them a little bit more since it's a farther distance away. I really don't know. It's been ages since I've hunted for uh, geese with the 22. But it's looking like we're going to be doing a lot of waterfowl hunting in the very, very near future. Only two weeks away with the release date of the brand new Labrador Retriever. So we're going to be getting a lot of waterfowl hunting in very, very, very soon. So they're already alert. We got to go ahead and just take some shots at them. We managed to get one of them. Let's see if we can sink a shot into that guy. Yeah, once again, missing the 22 shots. A lot harder nowadays since these guys are a lot faster than they used to be. Okay, I think we got a little bit of time to go grab some, so we got a few of them laid out here. Got a little female, we've got ourselves another female. We've got our uh, level 3 male Canadian goose, and we have a level 1 female. Where is... Oh yeah, that's another female. Where's the male? I thought we killed a male one, but apparently not. Apparently we didn't get a male like I thought we did. There we go. There should be more. There we go. Right over there. Sadly, not able to get those as they are quite far away, but we did get one of them, and we've got some geese flying over top, so maybe we can get a shot into one of those geese. Yeah. Yeah, we missed. 
as expected at this point. Let's grab this little duck, though. We got ourselves another level one female. Well, it seems we got a few of them above us right now. We're going to have to try our best not to spook them. Let's get our dog to lay down, and let's go ahead. And I'm pretty sure these are Goldeneye. So we're just going to plop that on right there. Yeah, those are definitely Goldeneye. They are alert, however, which is not good for us. Let's hope they don't spook off and instead land right in front of us. That would be amazing. There's one of them down and another one because it decided to stop for some reason. So we managed to get two of them. So we got a few of them landing right here. Let's go ahead and just blast these real quickly. And of course, we missed that third one. You know, I am wondering if maybe the 22 Hornet is going to be better for this situation. I feel like I could definitely hit a goose with the 22 Hornet uh, because there's less uh, travel time. So we might try that instead. And also, I did want to mention that the reason that we are doing this little video with waterfowl hunting before the dog is because I want to get a more like fresh reminder in our heads of what it currently is like because it's going to be quite different when we've got ourselves a bird dog to go get everything. You know, there's just way too many of them to spot. We got birds everywhere right now. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick out specific ones. I think we're just going to have to shoot whatever lands near us. Whatever ends up uh, getting closest is going to be the ones that we take down because they are just all over this area. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see the 22 Hornet in action. That was actually pretty good. I mean, let's try it on like different angles, but yeah, that's way better. Actually, that, that feels a lot better than using the uh, 22 LR, at least for the geese, because the geese move slow enough to where you can actually get a pretty good shot into them. Just like that one right there. And then we've got another goose here. Let's see if we can pop it real quick. And we did. We got another one down with the 22 Hornet. This thing's really good for geese, actually. You know, I think there's a lot of uh, situations here in the Hunter Call of the Wild where... We use a gun for a little bit and don't have much luck with it or don't like the way that it feels and then we never use it again when in reality there's probably different scenarios that it works quite well for. Like you don't see a lot of people use the 22 Hornet, but it actually is a pretty good gun for the geese. It's a lot easier to hit them with the 22 Hornet than it is the 22 LR. So after you've shot down as many as you can with the shotgun from your blind, the 22 Hornet seems to be a good kind of like clean up rifle to clean up the remainders that are still flying away. I also just realized that uh, some of the ducks that we've been shooting have been tufteds. One of the ones that we picked up was a tufted duck. So we got tufteds here. We got golden eyes. We got a uh, tundra bean goose all in this little area right here. This has always been a really good spot ever since early access to Revon Tule Coast when we first got to try it out. It's still really, really good over here. Pop that guy right there. Get a shot into that one and that one as well. Is there any others that we can get? I don't know. I see a goose over there. There we go. Another one down to the 22 Hornet. Try to get another shot in it for good measure, but... Not hitting our shots like we did the first one. We are going to have a lot of uh, geese to go chase down at some point. And how did I end up picking that up? How did I end up picking up the decoy? No, that's that's not what we wanted. We, we don't want to pick that up. Yeah, confirm that right there. Now uh, let's move over here and try to find the rest of them. There's just so many of them. Like, I get absolutely no breaks in between flocks. They're just flying in like crazy. There we go. Two more down. Let's uh, see if we can get this guy. We did. We got him. Okay, so we got him with the 22 Hornet. 
didn't get that one though. Let's see what our dog is barking at. Where did he even go? I think he's over here. Yeah, there he is. So he found a couple of them. We actually have three of them over here. We got a lot of uh, ducks and geese over in this area. Yeah, it's a nice little tufted duck right there. Love to see the tufteds. I really do like the tufted ducks. I don't have any rares for any of the duck species here on Revontuli Coast. I once did get a leucistic Eurasian teal, but that was back in the early access, so I don't actually have it nowadays. I wasn't able to keep it, sadly. I would like to get some more rares in the future, and I'm thinking that this dog DLC will be a good opportunity to try for a couple of the ones that we're missing. Oh my gosh, that might have been a two-for-one right there. We might have just hit a two-for-one there. There's another one down. And he turned last second and we couldn't get him. This right here is also kind of a fun way to hunt for your uh, geese and ducks in this location. Putting a tripod up on this cliffside and then having all your decoys and your collar down there. Sometimes you can get them to fly really, really close to you if you're lucky and it makes for a very interesting and different hunt for these geese. Like right here. They're just flying right in front of us, giving us great shots on a lot of them. All right, well, let's go ahead and claim all of them now because there is going to be a lot of geese to get and a couple of ducks as well, if I'm not mistaken. We got a lot of claiming to do though, like a lot of it. So let's start to claiming them. 7.78 male Canada goose is not bad. That's the best thing that we've killed all day, I think. Okay, let's just try to get this guy down real quick. There we go. Finally a shot into him. Surprised we didn't get that one too. That was uh, an unfortunate miss. That looked like it was going to be good, but ended up not being good. There we go. We got another one down. So we got a couple little bonus geese there as we're running around trying to claim the rest of these. There is a level one female Canada goose. This is one of those situations where we downed so many of them that I needed the dog to, to help me find all of the geese that we had managed to down. And now we're going to have another one for the dog to track because we just barely nicked that little duck over there. Can you imagine if we hit that? Would have been a crazy shot. But here is this little goose right here, a level two female. And then right over here, we've got ourselves a level two female again, but this time a gray lag goose. Here is another goose right here, a level two gray lag once again. You know, you don't realize how many of these things you shoot until you uh, wait a little while and then shoot a bunch more and then go claim it. There is so many of them down. This is our best gray lag of the day, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we've had many gray lag today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and claim the rest of these. And then uh, if we get any of them to be uh, something decent, we'll end up showing it. Otherwise, we're probably just going to speed through claiming all of them. Can we get these? Well, we did manage to get one of them. Two of them, actually. That's actually not a bad golden eye. 1119 is actually a pretty big golden eye. I'm glad that we managed to uh, clip this guy out of the entire group there. This is definitely one of the better ones. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for the brand new Labrador Retriever. I am quite excited to see how it's going to work. I'm going to have to reserve my full judgment for whenever I actually get a chance to play with it. But from what we're seeing, it sounds like it is going to make bird hunting a lot easier. But let me know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, leave a like on the video. It does help quite a bit in boosting this video up in the algorithm. And it also is just a massive help to the channel as a whole. Thank you all for being here. If you're new, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.